show for people like you who want to know. Now, today's episode is very exciting because we are going to go and visit the person who started a new cult, Joelle Anthony. She claims to be a YA writer, but we're not sure, so we're going to uncover the truth. Watch this footage. Oh my god, you guys, I have the best idea. We need to start a cult, a YA cult. And I could be the leader because I just wrote a book on cults, so, you know, I'm a natural. Joelle, now tell us the truth. Were you starting a cult? I, I don't know where that footage came from. I mean, I do. It was just a few of me and some writer friends, and we were, you know, we were. it was after hours, and we were just joking around. I don't know how it got on the internet, though. I, I just really like YA. I, I wasn't... I think that somehow people have gotten the whole wrong end of the stick here. I mean, my book is about a cult, but I wasn't trying to start one. I, I, I just want people to know that YA is out there. We have some very disturbing footage here. Another one I like is Eileen Cook. Now, all of her books are funny, but this one I really like in particular. As long as you look for Eileen Cook, you'll be fine. If we're going to be like those New York writers that are all like hooked into each other and help each other out, we're going to have to do that too. We're going to have to cross promote. So well, I've heard that Eileen Cook is one of your best friends. Is it really ethical to have her blurb your book? Yes, it's true that Eileen Cook and I are friends and, and um, but she wouldn't have blurbed me if she didn't like the book I and mean, she just, she wouldn't have. She would have we're that close. We really are. She can say to me. I mean, it's, she's in my critique group. She says to me things suck all the time. If she didn't want to blurb my book, she wouldn't have. She likes the right and the real. She does. You should ask her. I tried to get in touch with Eileen Cook to ask her if she had been at the meeting where the cult was started and also how she felt about cross-promotion. But all I got from her was a note from her agent that said, no comment. I think we need to concentrate on converting other writers from other genres. Like, um, Joelle Charbonneau, she writes cozies. I think she could write way. And I know Bill Cameron. I barely know Bill Cameron. I mean, I really, I, I met him once, he came to my book signing. I know him from Twitter. I heartily endorse Joel Anthony. And yeah, we had coffee once and it was, I mean, but it was just, we, t we didn't, yeah, we talked about books, but we didn't just talk about YA. When I tried to talk to Bill Cameron and find out his opinions on Joel, this is all he would say. He had nothing to say about the cult, but it seems to me that her influence has been strong. I have no influence over Bill Cameron. Yeah. Did you know that Bill Cameron is now writing YA? Yes, I know that he's writing a YA book now, but that I didn't have anything to do with that. He, it was it wasn't me. It was Janet Reed, or or maybe it was Bill. I I don't know. I don't even know anything about it. I just, I really wish my mom wouldn't have to see this because she raised me to be a reader and just can't be, mom I swear it wasn't a cult, I didn't mean to start a cult, I don't, it's not a cult, reading my A is just a pleasure. There's Just really quick. I who, just want to who, ask you a couple whoa, questions. Whoa, whoa. Who, who are you? I'm Barbara McWalters with 2040. It's an investigative show. We're, we're, we're doing a piece on your wife, Joelle Anthony. Hey, look, she started a look, cult. Look, look, look. Get out. Can I just ask you? Get out. Can she separate fact from fiction? The door. Do it's can, there. It's right. Use it. Get out of my house. All right, all right. I'm now. Ready.
ser menos. 